So in this video, we're going to be setting up how to interact with the door. Now, the key bit of information here is that interaction setup that I did in the previous video. There will be a link in the description. Check that out before you progress because it ain't going to work. So from here, let's go into content drawer. Let's go into the master interact that we created. Right click. I'm going to create child blueprint class. Let's click on that. Let's go uh, BP underscore open door two. So from here, double click on that and we've got pretty much a blank slate. So first thing I'm gonna do is add in a mesh. So I'm just gonna add in our cube first. Okay. And let's go rename that to a door. Over here on the right hand side where it says cube, we're gonna change that to door. So just remember, I already have the starter content preloaded. And so this is what we've got. From here, let's go into the event graph up the top here, select everything and delete. Let's right click. And we're going to go interact, event interact with object. There we go. So that's part of the master interact. So from here, we can do all our jazz. First things first, let's come over into the variables, create a new variable and we go open, sorry, door closed. And then we can't set the Boolean value just yet. So let's come over and compile. And now we can go, yes, the door is closed. From here, I'm going to add in a branch. And then what I can do is grab our variable we just created, get the door, put it in. From here, I'm gonna click and drag that back over. Let's go set door and go control C, control V and plug these, here we go. So is the door closed? True, cool. Then we'll set it that it's now false. So the next time we click on the button, it'll go, is the door closed? Nope, cool. Let's set that to true. So from here, what I'm gonna do is add in a timeline. There we go. And let's click on that. Double click on the little clock. I'm gonna press F to create a track. Right click, add um, float. So the time will be zero. The value will be zero. So I want that first keyframe kind of there. The length of this timeline, I'm gonna set that to two because I want it two seconds, I don't want five seconds, it's gonna take too long to open the door. Let's come over here into the number two, right click, add key, let's change this to two, and the value to 90. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna open up 90 degrees. What I can do now is just click off and I can press the A key, and then we can see what our graph looks like. Let's come back into the event graph. We've got when it's true, play, when it's false, reverse. From here, what I'm gonna do, is set rotation. But what we're gonna do is set actor relative rotation. There we go. From here, I just wanna affect the Z axis. So let's right click, uh, split string pin, whatever that was. Let's go new track, cause this here is our timeline. We plug it into the Z. So if you wanna change that, we can come, always come up here, change the name of our track. Let's go right click rename door rotation and then if we come back to the event graph we can see we've got door rotation z cool beans let's save that one let's minimize and if we come into our content drawer um, we went bp open door a uh, door two let's press play walk over e key oh look at that oh isn't that lovely if you want me to do another tutorial around this please leave a comment below and i'll do my best to help you out like and subscribe for more